Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie from Live and Large on Lifetime. It's been a minute, but today it's time for Fast Food Friday. And today I'm going somewhere that you guys have requested over and over. I don't know why everyone is so in love with Wendy's, but I'm going to Wendy's today. I'm actually having Wendy's for dinner tonight for this Fast Food Friday. So I want it to be hearty and satisfying and filling. I want real food. I want to be satisfied. As you know, on WW Weight Watchers, you can have whatever you want as long as you can work it into your points budget for the day um, we've got our rollovers we've got our weeklies there's a lot of ways to make fast food work if you need to eat fast food or if you love fast food if you want to have fa fast food if you're stuck on the road or if you just like having a splurge on Fridays like I've been enjoying it's totally doable and totally workable into the plan so today I've only had three smart points so far um, that was with my coffee I had a salad for lunch which was zero smart points so I've got 20 points left to have for fast food that's totally going to be workable and it's totally going to be worth it so what do I usually get when I go to Wendy's I always get a baked potato and chili chili over my baked potato so good it's so filling it's so yummy and satisfying I love it and it's actually pretty healthy it's low ish in points so a large chili which is what I usually get is five smart points a small chili if you want to shave a few extra points is only three smart points a Wendy's baked potato is eight smart points and I believe that is without butter or sour cream it's eight points because it's a pretty decent sized baked potato so a big baked potato with a large chili on it so good that's what I always get but what are some other options so there's a lot of options that are pretty low in points there are a lot of chicken options they have a grilled chicken sandwich for only seven smart points or if you want to save an extra point a grilled chicken wrap is only six smart points I happen to love bread so I would probably take the extra hit for the extra point and go for the grilled chicken sandwich but there are definitely options so there's also an ultimate chicken grill sandwich I don't know what the difference is between the Wendy's grilled chicken sandwich is seven smart points the Wendy's ultimate chicken grill sandwich is six smart points if anybody knows what the difference is let me know um, because actually I could have the sandwich for six smart points instead of the wrap. That's what I would do if I was gonna have a grilled chicken sandwich. So those are the chicken sandwiches. Also, if you like chicken nuggets, go for chicken nuggets because four chicken nuggets is only five smart points. If you like to dip them in sauce, you're gonna have to count the sauce unless you dip them in mustard, which I happen to like. I love dipping chicken in mustard, which is zero smart points. So chicken nuggets, four pieces is only five smart points. What about salad? We can always have salad with our sandwiches or with our baked potatoes. Um, a side salad with no dressing and no croutons is only zero smart points. Only is zero smart points. So that's always an option to add on to whatever it is you're having. Even if you have a hamburger or fries, you can always add the gar garden side salad for zero smart points. Wendy's Harvest Chicken Salad that sounds delicious half of a harvest chicken salad with one packet of dressing is only seven smart points you can have salad and the dressing for only seven smart points that sounds delicious I would have that probably with some chicken nuggets or with some fries there's also a Wendy's apple pecan chicken salad half of the salad and I'm assuming this is half of the salad with a packet of dressing as well is 10 smart points so I've had that apple pecan chicken salad before it's so good it is worth 10 smart points I would personally probably not have the dressing and then knock off about four points maybe three to four points um, so if you really are craving a burger and fries, let's talk about that. The fries are doable. You can have a small order of fries for 10 smart points. If you want to shave a few extra points, you can have a junior size fry for only seven smart points. The hamburger, you're going to have to compromise a little more on. Wendy's Junior Bacon Cheeseburger, 12 smart points. Wendy's Junior Cheeseburger, this is better. A Junior Cheeseburger is only nine smart points. Um, but a Wendy's Dave's single burger are you ready for this 18 points what is in that thing why would a Wendy's junior cheeseburger be nine points 
and a Wendy's Dave's Single Burger be double that at 18 points. I can't imagine there must be cheese I, and the burger must be twice the size. I don't know. Anyway, that's what you're looking at if you want to get a burger and fries. So it's totally doable. I would actually recommend if you want a burger and fries, I would recommend splurging on one or the other, the burger or the fries. Have a burger with salad or have fries with chicken, uh, like a chicken wrap or chicken nuggets. Um, I would really only splurge on one of them because it's about balance and that's how I personally would balance my points so that I can get what I want, what I really want. I would not have both of them together even if I wanted both of them together just because I'm trying to make this work within my budget. So I'm gonna go and drive up and order the baked potato and the large chili and then I'll let you guys know how it tastes and what it looks like. So I don't know if the drive up microphone is not working or what, but they've got somebody out here on an iPad taking orders. So I don't know if that's faster. It's only, it is 6.59, so it's not like we're in any rush dinner hour, I would think, um, but let's see how long this takes. She's going pretty fast, so. Actually, there are several cars behind me, so maybe this is a rush hour. Ooh, I'm so excited for a baked potato. Hi. Hi, here you go. Um, I actually know what I want. Can I get a baked potato? Um, that comes plain, right? Okay, yes. plain baked potato and a large chili. Choose an onion on it? Um, onion, but no cheese. That'll be all? That's it. 5.38, first window. Okay, thank okay. you. 5.38, that's a good deal. Okay, so I love, love chili with cheese and onions, but um, I don't know if that, if what I saw in the tracker for five smart points, I don't think that included the cheese. Um, I love it with cheese and onion, but I can have it with just onion. There you go. Um, yes, please. Okay. Thank you. This is super fast. Hello. Hi. Here's your chili. Okay. And your plain potato. Okay. Ah, thank you. Okay, that was super fast and what I feel like is really pretty inexpensive for what I'm expecting to be a very satisfying meal. So let me find a place to park and we're gonna taste this sucker and eat it up. You know, I probably could have gotten away with just a small chili, but my eyes are always bigger than my stomach so I always I mean I don't have to eat it all right I don't have to eat it all hey we got a knife we got napkins and a knife good good they did give me some sour cream and some butter butter I believe is one tablespoon for four smart points sour cream is one tablespoon for one point and two tablespoons for three points I think this is like a tablespoon and a half. I'm not having either one, but if you want to have butter and sour cream on your baked potato, that's kind of the rundown for that. Okay, here's my baked potato. They also gave me salt and pepper and a fork. How considerate. So yeah, this is a really large baked potato. It's also really hot, which I love because I love to have my hot foods hot and my cold foods cold. This baked potato is super hot trying to open it so I can show you yeah I'm an Idaho girl and this looks like a big old Idaho potato it's pretty big okay you know I wonder if there's a spoon with the chili oh yeah this is a huge chili there are also crackers so saltine crackers are one pack 
for one smart point. So that's two crackers for one smart point. If you wanna have crackers with your chili. I'm not, and here's my spoon. They actually gave me three packets of crackers. You know what, I'm actually gonna put those in my glove box because do you ever have times when you're like just dying for something and you've got nothing and if you had one little packet of saltines, it would tide you over until you can go get something real. So now I have three packets of saltines in my glove box. Look how big this chili is. <laughs> I guess I definitely could have got a small chili. Um, so I'm not sure if I will actually eat all this or not. This is, yeah, I should have gotten a small chili. Looks really good. Ooh, chili. Okay, so now time to make the mess. Set that right there. You could also, I've heard of people that get the chili and put it over salad. I've never had chili over salad before, but I would probably eat that. And that would be only points for the chili. Okay, this is gonna be a little messy for a minute here. Oh my gosh, that looks fabulous. So I haven't even used half of the chili because it won't fit in the container. So I've used maybe a third of the chili. So definitely, I would say, you guys, definitely a small chili is gonna be plenty if you do a chili and baked potato. Here's what my chili and baked potato look like. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay. It's super hot, like I don't know if I can taste it right now. It's that hot, but I'm gonna try. Somebody said, I look so happy when I'm happy with my food. It's right, I do. I really love having good food. I am a foodie. Probably a lot of you guys are foodies too because otherwise, why would we need Weight Watchers, right? This is really good, it's really hot, which I appreciate. Mm. So good, this is totally worth it. So for $5.38, totally worth it. This is a huge baked potato, a ton of chili. I'm gonna be stuffed if I eat all of it. So $5.38 is a great deal. And as far as the points, 13 smart points for a huge meal is totally worth it to me. If I can eat low points all throughout the day and then have a 13 point dinner, I'm totally okay with that. So Wendy's, you guys, those are your options for Wendy's. I think the next time I come, I'm gonna try a grilled chicken sandwich. Um, that sounds delicious. And maybe some fries, who knows? The fries, I could do a junior fries for seven and a chicken sandwich for six. And that's only, that's exactly what I'm having tonight, 13 smart points. So that's next when I come to Wendy's. That's it for tonight's Fast Food Friday. Where would you guys like me to go next? I was kind of thinking about McDonald's, um, but there are so many options. I'd like to do something that is a chain for you guys so that you know what to have when you go to eat fast food. I was also thinking about either McDonald's or Wiener Schnitzel. Mm, that could be challenging. So let me know where you want me to go next and I'll see you guys next time for Fast Food Friday. Bye, thanks for watching.